You know, when a tree has lost all of its leaves, as in a deciduous tree, it's clear that you can see what has been done to the tree in terms of, of pruning and, and in this case, past mistakes. I'm looking up at this liquid amber tree and I can see where somebody virtually cut the tree. Oh, about the last 20 feet of it has been cut down to here. One, two, three. This tree was just sheared over. But it's really easy to look at a tree like this and recognize what is now happening to the tree. You can see the new growth and how it's coming off the sides, you know, like this, rather than extensions of the original framework. Now in contrast to the last liquid amber that I just showed you that was topped, here's a liquid amber that has not been topped. It has been allowed to achieve the normal natural shape that it would had it never been touched. I do see a few pruning cuts. There's one down low. There was obviously a branch that was too low towards the house and uh, possibly something way in the back up there. You see a, a, the remnants of a squirrel's nest. But for all intents and purposes, this tree has grown very, very natural. Okay, let's get back to the other tree that was cut back severely. First off, I want you to take a closer look at this tree and let's see if we can see exactly where it was cut in the past. Through the magic of Photoshop, I'm going to remove the background sky to make it a little bit easier and I'm going to indicate each of the areas where it was cut. There's about five main scaffold branches and you can see in here where they were cut in the past. It was, uh, it was pretty harsh. It was like one, two, three, four, five and the tree looked like hell. So what do you do to fix something like that? Well, there's no real fixing it, but my procedure is to start off by taking out the biggest of the new sprouts. And you can see here where I've erased some of them. Then the next step is drop crotching. The drop crotching reduces the overall mass, but it's not a shearing over. And this is pretty much what it would look like when it was, if the tree was done. Of course, this is all digital, but it gives you a good idea. Best thing is not to start the process in the first place. So I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. And if you like my stuff, I can only build this channel if you subscribe to it and leave lots of comments. Maybe YouTube will get out there and they'll see that I'm getting a lot of activity. So far I'm up to over 7,000 subscribers, but hey, let's make that a lot more. So help me out, all right? Subscribe, leave comments, but most important, keep watching. Thanks.